Okay, today we're going to replace a broken slide ski. You can see how it busted up in there, ski. So here's what's left. So we got to take it all off a pair of pliers or screwdriver. Pull that all off. Take this off here. Clean this all up. And then I got to raise this up just enough to get the slide through the other side. And I'll take a measurement and then I'll know how much to cut it. But here's my new my new ski. I just went with the plastic one again. I probably wish I went with the fiberglass, but this is what I'm gonna do. And I have a I have an F354 dually, and this is the jack, so I figured it'll raise it up just enough to what I need. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take these screws out, so I take the whole bracket off. I have to cut that cock, and I have to get more. But uh, so using a screw gun. So either way take these off and cut it. Get all the screws out now I'm cutting through the cocking here so I can pull this out. I gotta go ahead and pull the slide in just a little bit. Okay now we gotta take the inside of the ski off in here under the floor. So I think we get that out of there. Yeah that that does. Okay. Okay now I'm gonna jack it up here just a little bit. You can see it going up maybe. It's gone up at all yet. Nope, don't think so. Not yet. Got it jacked up enough. You can kind of see through there a little bit through there, but I just need enough to get a measurement and get it through there. Clean this all up here. And put my new tape and then put this back on. Got this little molding piece here off. And we're gonna go scrape this out, get the, all the tape out of this part here. Then we'll put it back together. Cut this off of the just ordinary pocket knife, but I'll probably go back with some stuff and clean it all. But just kind of taking it off, make sure the other would stick good. Okay, now we're gonna work on this, getting this all cleaned up and that new tape going there, and, uh, and then I'll get some new cocking, put new cocking on here to take the old cocking off. Just measure it after I get this done and see how long I need. Since I really can't get a tape measure through here, I probably could, maybe, I don't know. Oh, I think I probably could do that, but I'm just gonna use a uh, sewing measuring paper. Huh. I'm gonna stick it through there, and then I'm gonna have somebody hold it the other side for me, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, now here's where I'm gonna have some help. Jan's gonna hold on to it, and I'm gonna go out and pull it through. Had to fish it through, but we got it. Okay, hold on to it. Just broke off another piece of my tape. Okay, you got it? Okay, I'm gonna bring it underneath here so I get pretty good measurement that way. Okay, if my tape measure's not long enough, I'm gonna stop right here at 18 inches. Okay. Found my mark in there, held my tape measure up to there, and uh, okay, I'm at 41 and three quarters. Now I'm gonna cut my ski, slide it through, make sure you cut from the right end. You want to cut from this end this way. <laughs> and my tin snipped to work just. Just perfect. Probably use a razor knife or whatever, but I'm just using this. So. Yeah, not too bad of a cut. Let's go in and see if it's gonna go in. It comes in from the outside. We're just gonna test it right now. Okay, let's see if she's gonna go through. I'm gonna have to jack it up a little bit more if it doesn't. Uh, let's see this piece of rug here, a piece of oil here. And yeah, that's gonna go out through there. Look at that. Right there, okay. There it is right there. I didn't go with the aluminum, I probably should have been. Okay, trying to get up in there now. Okay. Okay, I'm back outside here. It's all cut to size. Ready to go in. We go in like this from the inside. So we're gonna put some tape on here and work it through there. And maybe I'll put 
tape on after I bring it through. That might be better. It might get stuck on it. Here, I got my good tape on it. Left the paper on it. It was double stick. I'll push it through. Then I'll pull the tape off. Hopefully, there's still enough room for when I set up the tape on there to go in there. Slide it right out through here. And once I get through, then I'll pull the tape off of it. Hey, look at that. Slide right through there. Side, make sure it went the right way. Other than that, I think I'm there. Okay. I need to use staples on this side here. Yeah, I have to, maybe I'll put some staples in there too. Okay, I got it through. My tape came through pretty good. I started on the inside, and then I could peel a little bit off. Now I'm on the outside, I'm gonna peel the rest off and stick it on here and put it back together. So. Hopefully we'll have better luck next time. Won't break it. Yeah. Okay, I got the tape pulled off. Now we'll stick it up on here and do the other part on and recock it. I used my little electric staple guy and run some staples all along here. Go inside and put a couple in there. Skis in there. Just gotta get this to stay up there tighter. I may put a staple in there. I'm not sure yet. At least to hold it up there for the tape to stick. I got staples inside there, out here. Maybe put a staple to it here too. And I lower the jack down. Okay, I got the molding that's gonna go back on. And I got that good double stick tape on there so I can hold it and I have to put caulking on it. Okay, I got that other piece of molding on here. It looks good there, the glue, I mean the big thick tape there's gonna hold it. Caulking to hold it. Good to go on there. That tape's gonna stick. I'm gonna lower it down and should be good. But, well, thanks for watching on one of my adventures here. Just changing the ski on my Alliant 390 MP. Um, they're all pretty much gonna be the same. But, uh, took me about, oh, I'd say, took me probably an hour and a half. I time went back and forth and I had a cut. Well, Hope this helps somebody. Thanks a lot.